Hi, this is Dr. Joe with Posture Screen Mobile. So we have a new and exciting update with starting in version 11.9, which is automatic cropping of the images and video, um, even if you're on augmented reality, which I'm gonna demonstrate right now. It saves tremendous amounts of time. So with that being said, I'm gonna walk you through a four view assessment. Now, one of the things that I'd like to point out is, ideally, you want the patient in the most revealing clothing as possible. Uh, in this scenario, I'm just teaching how to use the application. He has his shirt on, but if this was a real clinical exam, I would want his shirt off and in shorts. That's the best um, that you can do to see body contours, okay? So something, and I have a video on this. If, if they must wear a shirt and it's baggy, there's ways to tighten that shirt up using clothespins and some other ideas. But in my office, everybody changed into shorts that I provided, um, and women had shorts and sports tops, no exceptions. It, there was no choice. They did this if, if they wanted to be a patient in my office because I wanted clinical uh, measurements of the client, right? Uh, the worst thing is to try and educate somebody on something that is less objective because you can't see their body contours or the computer using augmented reality and computer vision can't see the body contours. So with that being said, uh, I leave that up to you as the, the clinician or the fitness professional, how you're gonna do that, but that's my advice to you. If you can see things, it's more objective, right? Common sense. So with this, let me show you how we're gonna do the four view advanced. So with the advanced features on the four view assessment, that's the APPA in both sides, one of the nice things about that is we're gonna be averaging the, the sagittal displacements of the person's posture, right? Which is great because we average the right and left sides with those measurements uh, to come up with an average uh, value. With that being said, you can turn on more advanced features like the craniovertebral angle, thoracic kyphosis, pronation supination, things like that. So I'm gonna show you how to turn those features on as well too. And on the posterior view, you're gonna to have to still manually digitize some points, right? With that being said, if they have a scoliosis or if you wanna pre-mark their posterior spine elements at those levels, by all means, palpate and do your best to mark with a sticker or maybe just a wax pencil on their skin the points you wanna digitize. I leave that completely up to you as the clinician if you're gonna do this, okay? I, he's gonna have his shirt, so I'm gonna guess on some of these things, but you just gotta use your own judgment because I'm just showing you how to use the software. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So on this one, if I wanna turn on those advanced features, I go to the menu, I go into settings, I go into posture screen, and then here, notice new advanced posture measurements, gaze angle, CVA, Q angle, ankle pronation, supination, thoracic kyphosis. I'm gonna turn that on. Now, if I go into the client list, if I have somebody already in there, because you already know if you're watching this how to start up and do an evaluation from scratch, I'm not gonna repeat that. I'm just gonna choose him here. And then at this point in time, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new evaluation. So that's what I do, and I'm gonna click posture screen. Now at this point, if you do just two photos, it's just the two of you. If you do all four photos, you get the choice of the clinical report and the patient-friendly report. So let's go ahead and just start with that. We're gonna go ahead and click the first, and I'm going to bring this up to him and do my best, I'm close proximity, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that that's balanced as best as possible. Okay, and I'm gonna ask the client to turn to the side, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that again, so we're gonna come in here, and then I'm gonna ask him to do another quarter turn. So this is the poster review, right? So this is one that you'll have to make sure that you do your best on marking correctly. And then we're gonna do another quarter turn. So we're gonna go ahead and always keep an eye on that background as well too. Okay, so at that point in time, we're done capturing the photos. You don't have to do the assessment right now. You can hit save and finish later. But then what we're gonna, we're gonna do is we're gonna do hit start digitization. Now at this point, you can correct points if you need to. If I need to drag any points in the correct location, I could. Right now on this one, we're going to have to add some additional points. So we wanna go ahead and click notice. It tells you mark the C7 spinous approximation, right? So we're gonna go ahead and C7 spinous. The, the apex of the thoracic kyphosis. Now his shirt's baggy. This is one of the reasons why I said we want tighter fitting clothing. So inferior aspect of around the thoracic kyphosis is around right above the elbow. It depends on how tall your client is and how tall you are relative to that. 
and double check the PSIS to ASIS marker. Okay, I'm gonna do that right down the belt line so we can go ahead and drag that in the correct location and then hit next. Now the posterior view, it tells you exactly what to click. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the ear margins. Now this is what I was saying about pre-marking. It tells you, okay, approximate level of T4 spinous, right? So we can go ahead and say, okay, I'm gonna do maybe that this is, this is T4. I find it easier to go ahead and put the points that I think are in the correct location. And then at that point, I come back to myself, I magnify and say, you know what, I think this would be more approximate. If they have their shirt off, I can go ahead and do a little bit better approximation of those points, right? So the PSISs, you know, obviously this is an, purely an estimate, um, but usually on a belt line on a patient. And then of course, you want them with more revealing clothing, okay? Double check the markers down for pronation supination, okay? And that's it. And then we come to the other view, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the C7 spinous approximation, apex of thoracic kyphosis, follow that down to the body margins right above the elbow, double check PSIS to ASIS, how does that look? Um, and then if I need to correct any points and then hit here. Now I'm done with all four views. Now here's the great part. If I hit send and I wanna preview this, the two view is what you would always send to the client or print, so this is the educational one, right? The four view is for the clinician, which is all data, okay? And you can also add notes. You have room to add notes in the screen. We have a tutorial on that as well too. And of course, we can do comparisons with that as well. So that's how easy it is to do a two view, I already showed you, and this four view assessment. Again, clothing's a big deal. Possibly pre-marking the person if you feel that you need to. Um, there is some reliability issues in the literature with palpation, as many of you already know, but do your best, okay? Because in most cases, especially if it's a scoliosis case, we're also gonna be doing x-rays on the client, okay? So if you have any specific other questions that you'd like to ask, reach out to our team at support at Thank you.